Hey gang, welcome back to Pardee Shop Shenanigans. I'm Bob and today we're going to work on the cab of this Silverado pickup using paintless dent repair or glue pulling. Um, this is a new endeavor for me, so let's do some learning together. Okay, so last time in the shop, I went through um, two kits that I bought. I bought a, uh, been interested in this paintless dent repair for a while. And so I bought a glue pulling kit, entry level kit off of Amazon. And I also bought a dent pushing kit off of Amazon. Today, I'm going to work some more with the glue pulling. Now, the benefits as I can see it between the two is I think that probably pushing a dent out from the backside in a controlled manner um, makes more sense to me, um, but that would require disassembling and pulling out some of the interior parts and getting where I could get to the backside of the cab in this pillar here. Um, now the benefit of glue pulling is you can do all your work from outside wherever the damage happens to be, and uh, no matter what you do, it's going to be a, a learned skill. It's not something anybody's going to just do magically perfectly. Um, I've become enough of a YouTube expert watching YouTube University that, uh, you know, I'm playing and having fun with it, but I have no notions of making this perfect. But I do expect to make it better than it is. Let's take a look at some of what we'll work on today. Now, I don't have my um, light set up. Um, there's this reflective light that you put the, the light um, behind you so that it, it'll cast lines on your workspace. And based on how the lines open up and pinch and what they do, it'll tell you what you need to uh, work on for the metal. But what I'm going to work on, I started already here. I'm going to work on this a little bit more. Um, and then we might get adventurous and work on this big guy here today also. I don't know if you can see this well, but... Um, not only is there a dent here, there's a dent here, this also has some damage. So uh, we'll, we'll do some learning together. Worst case, I have smaller dents than the big ones that are already there. Okay, so what we're going to work on today is this little spot. I started working on it once in the last video. Um, you know, I would love to repaint this pickup. Uh, it's just not in the budget right now. Um, but I thought if I can, for now, take out some of these big blemishes, um, more for me than anybody, just I probably see them where other people won't, but there's some pretty good dings in here. I thought um, it's good practice because then with some of my other projects I'm working on, um, maybe I will get good enough that uh, I can make them look real nice. So first things first is um, this is the space that we're working with right here. And so hopefully maybe this helps you see a little better where that is. Um, hard to get a good angle where I can actually work on this and you can actually see it at the same time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tab. Now I've got a tab that's a circle because this is roughly a circle sized dent that's slightly smaller than, than where the damage is. Because if this was a big tab, and I put it clear out here, it would be glued to areas where there is no dent, and then I'm not going to get this pulled out like I need to. So I've selected this um, small round tab. I'm going to glue it into place right here and use my puller and see if I can pull that out. Now, I've already wiped this down and cleaned it. I also warmed the metal up a little bit. It's pretty cool out here in the shop, uh, about 50 degrees. I'm going to put a little bit more to that while the glue is warming up. But I don't want to put um, hot glue on cold metal because it's probably not going to stick very well. Okay, and like I say, I did heat that up a little bit earlier. Well, let's see what we can do here. Now, something I did discover with my first attempt at this in the last video is I had not really cleaned the tabs first. So I took a little bit of this 99% alcohol and I
cleaned it, I'm going to see if it sticks better. In the last video, um, the glue was sticking to the metal really well, but it was the tab that was popping off rather quickly. Um, I put just enough glue on it that it squishes out just a little bit all the way around. Try not to get too big of a mess on there. Not really sure how long they're supposed to cure, but boy, that's pretty solid the way it is right there. Okay, I'm taking my super PDR puller here, and because it says super on it, I know it's going to do an even better job than anybody else's would. Um, I don't have a real good sense on how everything should line up yet. Again, I'm learning this as I go. I've watched lots of videos on it, but nothing beats real experience. And then uh, what I hope is once I get enough experience to know what I'm screwing up, maybe I can hook up with somebody who really does know what they're doing and I can get better. So now I've got that on there. Let's give this a little pull. Ooh, and that rascal came off rather quickly. Doesn't get us quite where we need, does it? So let's put a little bit of alcohol on here. This helps this glue peel right off of here. Just like that. I'll wipe this off again. I'm not entirely sure how to keep this from popping off the plastic as readily as it does. But uh, you know what? When all else fails, try, try again, right? I may need to let it sit just a whisker longer. All right, back into our spot here. Now, I'd really would like to be able to get into this and uh, and use the pushing technique. However, um, I don't really want to get into tearing apart interior right now. Um, I think while that is sitting, I'm going to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to see what happens if I left that a little bit longer. But I've got this other pretty good ding on the back here. That what I've done, this is more of a crease. So I'm going to put this piece that's shaped about the same as that. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Much to learn, much to learn. Okay, so got this guy cleaned off now. I'm going to glue him on here. I'll have two of them set up. Let's see what happens. Never done a square one before, so, you know, I may never do one again. Let's get this rascal on here. Let me go this way so I don't drop my tab quite so quickly. Okay, now, you see that metal pulling? Yeah, like that should pop off. Okay, now let's see what happens down here. I think that rolled on the floor. Now, I know from um, watching others, like I say, just watching lots of videos on this, I know that this is not a, a quick process. You don't just throw something on here once or twice and bang, bang, boom, um, your dents are perfect. Um, but I can tell from my angle that I'm definitely getting some improvements on here already, which is kind of exciting. Are you excited? I'm excited. From where we were, we've made some progress. Now, another challenge is there's definitely some, you know, the, the way metal works is um, it can stretch and distort, but it's under pressure. So something hit this, boom, that caused it to pop in, right? So what I've been doing is I've been starting from the middle trying to pull it back out. But what that means is out around here, there's some high spots that are kind of putting pressure on it to keep it from popping in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm just using my own low-tech way of looking at high spots and low spots here. I am going to work on this a little bit. Because what I can see is there's a bit of a high spot right here that looks like it's impeding this from popping out as it should. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I'm sure there's probably some guys out there that have done a lot of this. That are watching me saying, you're going about this all wrong. And you could be right. But I'm having fun. <laughs> That's really what it's all about out here in the shop. I'm going to try this with this rubber. This, this corner here, I think, is giving me some fits. Remember, don't get all crazy wheeling back and whacking on this stuff because you can make a bigger mess yet. From my limited knowledge on metal, and I say limited because I don't do this for a living, it's really important just to kind of watch what it's doing. I'm, I'm, I've got a light up above me that I can see a reflection on, and so that reflection tells me where there's high spots and low spots. And what you cannot see on camera is a low spot here and a high spot here. Um, and it all will work with or against itself um, when you're trying to do something like uh, take a dent out or reshape the metal. Again, don't get all crazy whacking on this like you're a He-Man. Now, I've also seen some different um, conflicting information, and maybe it's just differences in styles, that when you're using um, this guy to take down high spots, I'll see some people will put this tight against the metal and hold it. But I've heard several others say that you actually, you're, you're hitting this to bounce into it. Boom, boom, boom on a sm smaller level. That you're supposed to hold this guy, you know, just a sixteenth of an inch or so away from the surface that you're working on. I don't know how accurate that is, but hey, I'll try anything once, twice if I like it. All right, let's try another tab on there. And let's see if we can get. A little more movement. Where did my little tab go? Here he is. It's a great thing about having a microphone. I can walk around and you still get to hear all the sounds that I make. <laughs> they aren't always pretty. Now what I also am not entirely sure of is whether I'm using the absolute correct glue. Now this kit that I bought off Amazon Came with two different color glue sticks. Um, I'm using the lighter colored one. I don't know, just because it seemed to work. And in fact, if you remember, it's all about accessorizing, right? Right. Yes, my name is Bob. Sometimes I'm a goofball. All right. Well, that seems to be on there. Let's see. If we can take a little bit more out of here, it'd be great if I could actually get this um, tab to stick just a little longer than what it does, but I can see a lot of movement all around here when I pull on this. I think what I want to do is have gradual pulls. Don't want to be crazy with it. There you pop out. It's actually. Actually, we've come out quite a bit from where we were. I'm kind of tickled with that. The problem is, is right on this crown here, I've got a bit of a crease, and I think that's probably not helping me much. I am going to try to take down just a little more. I'm going to do what I see some seem to discourage, and I'm going to actually use my ball peen hammer, I, I kind of like the weight of it that I can control differently. So right along here. What I'm trying to do is on this crown here, I'm trying to, I'm trying to flatten it just a little bit so that where this dent is, it can let it pop out. If you've ever taken a, um, like a piece of tin or something and you, you make the funny sounds with it. That's what I'm trying to do without making the funny sounds with it.
fit right in there. Really, I am kind of tickled with the fact that this is this is trying to cooperate with me. Well, let's try another pull on there. Let's see if we can get just a little more out of there. As a fella out at the ranch used to say, well, it'll work or it won't. That's for you, Dave. Okay, let's give another little pull. Boy, this is a real short one, but I'm definitely seeing a difference. So that is awesome. Okay, let's see if we can find a different angle now. Well, I waited till the next day to come out here to get similar lighting uh, to what we were looking at yesterday when I started this. Um, I spent probably two hours um, off camera working on here. and I definitely have much to learn. Now, the good news is this was the first dent we started with. Definitely still a dent there, but significant improvement. Um, I worked some other little pieces. Um, we get over here. Let's see if I can find the light for this little dimple. Right here was the first dimple we started on. When I put light on that, you can see how, how that changes right there. Still definitely not, not perfect. And I got quite a bit of this out. Um, but it's got, uh, I don't know, it's got some stresses on it in here that the glue just isn't pulling out. So I really think my next steps on this will be to disassemble some of the interior and uh, try some of the push method as well. Just for fun, I did also, let's see if I can get things moved around here enough. I did a little work on this spot that was much worse than it is now. You could go back in the video and see that. But again, I think next steps for me um, just feels like maybe doing some pushing from the back. I'll have more some control. Well, that buttons things up today. I've got a lot to learn, had a little bit of fun doing it, and uh, looking forward into diving into this paintless dent repair a little deeper. Remember, take on a task that you've never done before simply because it's a great chance to learn something about yourself. Because I guarantee you, every opportunity that you do not take is a guaranteed failure. Hey, this is Bob. Remember, go out and make somebody smile today. You both deserve it. Bob out. Thank <laughs> you.